So I got about a week left before winter officially arrives. That gives me plenty of time to give you guys the top 10 niche fragrances I've been wearing this fall. Stay right there. All right guys, sorry for the delay, but I've uh, been making lots of other videos and it almost snuck past me to make this video, so uh, thanks for being so patient with me. Uh, also, these are niche quality fragrances. Uh, some of these houses are designer. I know you guys like to argue in the comments about what's considered niche. Guys, right now I'm just gonna do niche quality. Some are actual niche companies, some aren't. Uh, but to me, these are considered uh, niche quality fragrances. And so with that, let's get started. So coming to number 10 is a fragrance I did a video on over the summer. I was very surprised by this one and I liked it a lot. Uh, it is from an independent house out of St. Louis, Missouri. This fragrance boasts bergamot, tonka bean, and riverboat smoke. From the house of Chateau Lou, we have Admiral. So coming to number nine is a woody aromatic fragrance that has beast mode performance. This fragrance features cinnamon, clove, and sandalwood. From the house of Costume National, we have Costume National Ohm. So coming at number eight is an oriental woody fragrance with above average performance. This fragrance features whiskey and woody notes. From the house of Nasamato, we have Borunda. So coming to number seven is an oriental spicy fragrance with excellent performance. This fragrance features plum, tobacco, vanilla, and honey. From the Armani Privé line, we have blue lazuli. So coming to number six is an oriental woody fragrance that features the notes of amber, tobacco, and vanilla. From the house of Dan Josier, we have ombre tobacco. Coming in at number five is another oriental woody fragrance with average to above average performance. This fragrance features cedar, apple, pepper, birch, and clove. From the house of Creed, we have spice and wood. So coming to the number four spot is an oriental fragrance that has average to above average performance. This fragrance features tonka bean, tobacco, and bitter almond. From the house of Guerlain, we have tonka imperial. Coming at the number three spot is a woody Shifa fragrance from the house of Christian Dior. This fragrance gets average performance on my skin. It has iris, honey, myrrh, and woodsy notes. We have the infamous Bois d'Argent. So coming at the number two spot might be a number one spot in other people's collection when it comes to fall fragrances. This fragrance is an oriental floral fragrance that has vanilla, apple, cardamom. From the house of Parfums de Marley, we have Leighton. So coming in at the number one spot and rounding off my top 10 niche fragrances I'll be wearing this fall is a recent acquisition. Uh, this fragrance has been getting me lots of compliments. It has excellent performance on my skin. This is an oriental spicy fragrance with the notes of rum, dried fruits, tobacco, leather, and patchouli. From the house of Tiziana Terenzi, we have Ursa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was my top 10 niche fragrances I've been wearing this fall. I'd love to hear your list, so please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications for future top 10 videos and fragrance-related content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Dollars and Cents. There, you'll find exclusive content, fragrance-related photos, and future contest winners. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.